Yeah, I think all this snow, this will be a good test for the blower. We gotta get out there and clear the driveway before we go to work, people. So let's freaking hammer down. First, I need a pair of pants and some socks because I'm wearing neither. And uh, that's kind of required before going out into the cold and getting frostbite, you know what I'm saying? Also, I made more blueberry cheese vape. It's awesome. God, that's good. All right, let's go get dressed. And then uh, we'll head out and get that driveway did even though it looks like it's still snowing out. We'll get her done, we'll get her done, because we have to. As far as I said, remember I said I wasn't gonna film in 60 frames per second anymore? Changed my mind, I found out that I can I can render them at four megabits a second, rather than going balls deep and giving them 10 to 16, because if you go that deep in your uh, video encoding, you end up with like a three gig file, and it takes about a month and a half to upload, and then three years to freaking process, because YouTube's slow. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is blow a path down to the end of the driveway, clear the end of the driveway before I can get the so I don't know I'll figure this out when I get out there so I had to put my laundry away and uh, put some clothes on that are somewhat gonna be warm when I'm out there because freak's sake she's probably cold out all right let's go and inspect and see what kind of damage we have to deal with doesn't look too bad but I really want to bust out the snowblower so we'll give her but uh, the driveway I could I could easily drive out of this okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna fire up the car clear it off get it out of the driveway Park it alongside of the road here. We'll, uh... I need a new battery. <laughs> One of these days I'll have to get out there and buy a new battery for that car because it's been parked for like two days, not even. And, uh... She's already not liking the start. Okay, where's my shop broom? I'm gonna clean the car off the old fashioned way. And to all my American friends who just recently got snow and not sure what to do with it, your shop broom makes a great snow removal tool. But uh, as far as summer tires and going on icy roads goes, you're on your own for that shit. Those are some pretty deep tire tracks. Just for perspective, you know, there's some pretty good sidewall there. It's like a TIE fighter flying through the trenches. Eh? Anyway, that's where the car was sitting. The only path of rock available. Not gonna be able to snow blow that. All right, let's get this project going. Here's hoping this thing doesn't have a complete ditch. But I was in a rush because I gotta get to work and I didn't think the car was gonna get out of the driveway. Alright, let's bring the car back in the yard. Oh, it's almost three o'clock and I still need a shower for frig's sakes. So I'm gonna jump in there probably in a bit. I'm gonna go upstairs and have a dart. But uh, I was funny, I was watching YouTube today when I first got up while I was at my coffee and Emma Blackery drops a video talking about those chain letters you get on Facebook, eh? Like, okay, now that you've read this, you have to share it on your wall or this six year old little dead girl is gonna show up in your house and just totally bang you out. Well, you know, those are ridiculous, but then I see people sharing them. Or my personal favorite is the share this post and you will get free money. Why would somebody give you free money for sharing a post? Think about it. The logic's not there. And also, I'd like to meet someone who shared a post on Facebook and then got paid. I, I want to meet that person. I have yet to meet one because it doesn't exist. There's no way to get free money on friggin' Facebook. And I probably said YouTube. But there's no way to get free money on Facebook. Because if there is, Zuckerberg's already done it and lined his, his wallet. Just saying. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just funny things like that. But anyway, I better get cleaned up and uh, get ready for work because for sakes it's probably going to be a busy one. That snow was sticky. Oh, do I feel a lot better after a shower. Oh my goodness. But the driveway's cleared and we got to get to work shortly. It's currently like 5 after 3. 
And we gotta head out. Well, not yet, but soon. 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 Soon, soon, soon. All the snow in the streets melted. Friggin' after I was done, the truck, uh, the truck, the snowplow came by like 72 times. I don't know why they come by so often when the grounds are, are clean. <coughs> I was out there just taking a look. I was, I don't know why I went out there. I went out there, oh, I'd get the mail, that's what it was. Because uh, when I was done blowing, the post office dick came by and, uh, the plow came by a couple times, and as the plow's going, like, dude, watch this, and he looks over, and he sees sparks coming off the blade of the plow. I went downstairs, and I don't know why, because I brought it up here. Uh, this is what I got in the mail, was this thing. Are we saying, what the hell is this thing? Well, I bought it off Deal Extreme, and it's a GoPro mount. Check this out. So it's a GoPro mount that you wear on your shoulder. So this part here sits upon top of your shoulder. Pretty much like this, and then you attach your GoPro here. And now I'm a walking camera, you know? Walking wide angle camera. That's pretty friggin' sweet, right? Just straps on like so, and away you go. I think Pug1 needs one of these for his tractor crashes. But then again, you know, you probably hit your head on it like that, and that would suck. Because that just sucked right there for me. And then, you know, bang, ugh, head injury. But you can also wear this part here wherever you want on your body, like you can just loosen it up and and then like move it over or you can wear it on the other side or I don't know I thought it was pretty cool I, I saw it on Deal Extreme was like this would be great for a snow blowing video and uh, too bad I already snow blowed just my luck eh I friggin snow blow and then the mail dick comes by and gives me this attachment which could have made for a pretty cool video probably I also question just how shaky this thing is my buddy there uh, we're supposed to make the exchange sometime this week for the GoPro Hero 2. So I'm just gonna leave this GoPro inside of the old shoulder strap. I gotta clean this off. Oh my God, there's still trail mud on it. Yay! And uh, go from there. It's pretty bad, I ordered a couple things. I ordered a new cell phone battery from Deal Extreme for my phone because uh, I haven't done anything with my phone all day and I'm already down to 80%. Something's killing the phone. Usually a reboot solves that problem, but uh, yeah. So I thought that was kind of neat. Figured I'd show you guys that possibility for another camera angle while we vlog outside doing activities and things but uh, as for me people I need to get off to work probably no not yet uh, I'm anxious to go to work for some reason I don't know bye football I'm going to work that's what I should have called her was football look at the way she sits so cute her tail is all tucked underneath her paws are holding it down her cute little nose and eyeballs oh she's so cute she's so cute She's so cute. Oh, she's a good girl. Good, good, good. Okay. I think shoving the camera in that cat's face probably traumatized her. Like, a lot. And why is she still attacking my shoes? For sakes. There's not much left of these romping shoes. Like, they're being held together with luck. For sakes. Oh, for sakes. You know what? By far is the worst invention ever. Sunken in license plate mounts in the rear. What a stupid design. Mainly because it's like... Why have that kind of a design when you're driving and all the snow just kind of loops up and goes right in the license plate and cakes on your plate? You're sopping every 20 minutes to clear the damn thing if you care. Anyway, um, we got to get going off to work. I'm leaving a little early today just to uh, deal with the shitty roads. I was told the roads are slipperier than frig out today. And uh, North Bay plows don't know how to plow. So, uh... Yeah, just wait and get a little bit of heat up in here. Heat up in here, and then uh, we'll friggin' roll. Let's do this. But, uh, no, I was reading this thing on the uh, Facebooks about solar energy and how apparently it's hurting friggin' Walmart or some crap. Because, you know, if you decide to go out of your way and start providing your own electricity, you're not buying from an investor's group that uh, basically has an electric company and stuff and you're making your own juice and that's taking money away from taxes and money that the government needs to like blow on bullshit you know so heaven forbid you uh, do something that can't be taxable you know so now they're trying to make a solar panel tax or something probably like are, are you serious right now like oh look at all the fiber line hanging from the wires god I hope they're coming up my house but still, it's like, if you want to go solar to be better for the environment and to bring your bills down, the initial cost really sucks, but if you can afford it, I say you should have the right to do it. I say it shouldn't be friggin' up to uh, 
the government said no, no more solar panels. They're taking away from our freaking money and our our, our electricity companies and stuff. Like, frig off! Holy shit! When did this get so deep? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. When do they dig that out? It's been friggin' snowing for the past four days. That's impressive. Unless it sunk because of the cold, maybe something got disrupted and it magically sunk all evenly and stuff. Well, here's hoping work isn't too bad. Hoping for an easy, sleazy night. Hopefully my internet's better tonight because I'd like to go home and play Grand Theft Auto online, but chances are the internet's still slow. It's like, this is what bugs me about the whole situation is we have a gig of bandwidth associated to cable internet, okay? We have a one gigabyte just for the cable. The last time it got slow, it took them 11 months just to ramp the speed up from 100 megabits to 200 megabits. And now they need to ramp the speed up from 200 to 300. I say if we're paying for a gig and we're not using a gig, why don't we just pin her at a gig? Just freaking wide open throttle, go, do, you know? But they won't. And it was pretty brutal last night, like I'm trying to stream Netflix, and Netflix was coming through at like 240p. Luckily I was watching old 1980s sitcoms, so it didn't really look that bad, but it was still not awesome, like, it wasn't as crisp as 480p TV used to be, it was 240p, so it was like the, the day when color television was first announced, you know? And that's what people got, it was a 240p color TV, Skeetle D. And, um, you know, all in all, not too bad, not too bad, but this is the friggin', like I want high def. But obviously watching 1980 sitcoms, they were never remastered in high def, so you're kind of decard. Oh, well. Well, I was looking up that thing on YouTube about the using vinegar to melt ice off your windshield, and they got it all wrong. They got it all wrong. Um, I can't do that to this windshield. As you can see, I got a crack, and that would just cause the crack to expand and explode. So vinegar on my windshield is a bad thing. But they're saying that if you have any pits or divots in your window, that the acid in the vinegar could activate and cause those to expand. Then other people are saying with the delusion of, like when you delude your alcohol, or your alcohol, for sakes, your vinegar and your water, that uh, it's so diluted that you really can't do that. Like you can't pop a windshield with it. So, and they're also saying that applying it directly to ice won't do much because uh, what it's meant for is you apply it before, like like tonight when I get home from work, if my windshield wasn't broken, I would uh, totally hose my windshield down with that vinegar water compound and come morning time to take the car out again, the, water, the uh, ice would just come right off with like my shop broom. But once again, if you have a cracked windshield, not recommended. That's why I don't always believe everything you see on Facebook, people. There's a lot of people on Facebook that'll put shit up just to scam people. Like I see those miracle remedies of honey oil and cinnamon. And it's like, uh, like you gotta Google everything you see on Facebook. Don't just take it off Facebook and try it unless it's a food recipe that you can, you know, you understand the ingredients and you know what they're gonna do. <laughs> if it's some sort of a heal anything just by drinking fucking vinegar and salsa or something stupid like that, do your research, don't just dive in, you know? I know a lot of people who are stupid and just dive in. But like I said, this doesn't apply to the cooking stuff. This only applies to like, um, you know, home remedies and stuff. I'm trying to get a little heat up in here. Sorry if it's noisy, I only have one setting. Go, still haven't gotten that fixed. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of old sitcoms lately, reliving my, my youth, I guess you can say. And uh, just giving her, oh freak. So I was thinking about uh, talking to Bloke and seeing what he's doing for New Year's and heading down there, but then I forgot. I gotta work the day after New Year's, the second. That kind of bites. That kind of bites big time. So that means like I can go down for New Year's Eve, but I'd have to come home New Year's Day because I work the following day. And uh, like I was thinking about it, but I think what I might do instead is just mail him down a care package of a bunch of juice for Christmas time. Of course, if he's watching my video, he just heard that. But uh, I need to order more strawberry because I kind of sort of don't have any left. I want to order a different strawberry flavor this time. The last one I had tasted like shit. 
tasted like strawberries that were left in a frying pan. Like who the frick fries are strawberries? So I found another one from Flavors uh, from Flavor West called Sweet Sweet Strawberry, which might be awesome. A lot of people said it's really good for the strawberry cheesecake because it really contrasts the uh, cheesecake uh, taste. And I kind of like that. I like contrasting tastes because then it's like a war in your mouth when you're vaping and it's freaking awesome. Except when you start drooling like a madman and you drool all over your shirt and pants and friends and flood houses and stuff. But other than that, it's, it's damn good. Like a, a lot of people are saying, it's just fantastic freaking vape. So well, that's what we're gonna do. That and I wanna get some more blueberry because I'm a big, big fan of the blueberry cheesecake. Maybe I'll mix up local blueberry cheesecake. Maybe he'll like that guy. I don't know. Should do a pumpkin cheesecake too because that would be delicious. That pumpkin spice I got, oh my goodness. I made a 10 mil bottle of it just to try it out and it is friggin' scrum diddly umptious. Oh my, it's, just, it's like I couldn't have a pumpkin pie this year on Thanksgiving because we didn't have our Thanksgiving at the traditional time. Yeah, I think you guys, it's this coming weekend actually. But um, that means Black Friday is going to happen here in the north. Neat. But, um, yeah, I couldn't have one, so I figured if I can't have a pumpkin pie, I'm going to vape a pumpkin pie. So I made myself some pumpkin spice vape, and my goodness, is that ever good. That was awesome. And this windshield is starting to fog up. Sorry, people. Got to send more power to the shield. And that's probably really noisy for you guys. Really, really, really got to get around to getting that defroster fixed. How oh, well. Oh, flu vaccinations. I should go get mine. <laughs> That's what I say about that. I never got one before. When I get sick, I just deal. Just deal by taking time off of work. Nah. Well, parking here. This fucking Buick's like over a bunch, and I'm consuming two spots now. Awesome. Well, today's vlog's kind of whack, eh? I just freaking get up in the morning, snow blowed, and now we're here at work and uh, talking about flu shots for frig's sakes. I apologize for that. But anyway, people, I better get inside and get this shift going. So I'll talk to you guys on my next vlog. So until then, stay sassy. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.